Skinned Alive, the most horrific death. Skinned Alive, also known as flaying, is one of the worst and most horrific ways to die. The victims experience excruciating pain and horror. In medieval times, flaying was one of the forms of execution used in eliminating traitors. The earliest notable records of people skinned alive was around 800 to 911 BC, with most nations involving the practice into their culture at one time or the other. Greece, China, ancient Assyrian empires all practice flaying at one time in their culture. Even ancient Aztecs in Mexico practiced flaying during ritual human sacrifices, and after their sacrifices have been made. The whole process involves the ripping apart of the skin from the body while the victim is still breathing and remains conscious the entire time. Skinning alive consisted of different techniques as practiced by different cultures during the time it was widely used as a form of execution. Different techniques that were used included slashing and peeling of the skin, starting from the buttocks, sometimes under the lower legs or the face. Victims were kept under the sun in some cases to soften the skin or boiled in hot water for a few minutes before being skinned alive. After the whole process, the victim experiences shock, suffers pain, nerve damage occurs, suffers hypothermia, excess blood is lost, and death follows. While flaying is no longer common, a morbid curiosity surrounds the practice and its historical context. In this video, we'll dive into the gruesome history of flaying and also a medical science approach to it. Torture that involved flaying would begin with specific and calculated cuts. Historically, the first area of skin peeled off would be the face. After that, the body would be scored in various places to allow easy removal of the skin in one piece. These cuts would be incredibly deep and extend through multiple layers of skin in order to reach the muscle itself. Reportedly, sharper knives made the process less excruciating for the unlucky person being flayed. The skin would be removed in large sections so that it could be displayed as a warning to others. In addition to historical accounts of flaying, there is also physical evidence. In particular, the ancient church of Hadstock in Essex held a legend of a Dane who had committed sacrilege and was flayed as punishment. It was said that his skin was spread out and nailed to the door of the church as a sign to others. When the door needed repair, pieces of human skin were found under the door nails, indicating the size of the skin sheet once held there. Meanwhile, at Worcester Cathedral, there is a large slab of human skin belonging to a Viking who tried to steal the church's bell. The recipient can feel every nerve ending being severed. Because nerve endings extend deep into the skin and muscle, flaying was a particularly painful process. The ripping motion of removing large portions of skin meant that nerve endings were torn rather than cut, making the pain arguably much worse. Although the initial sensation of having the skin ripped off would be agonizing, that pain would have been temporary. The process of flaying would damage both the nerve endings and the fatty layer around them, called myelin. Because of this, the body would begin to go numb. The recipient suffers a large amount of blood loss. There are several ways that flaying can be fatal, and one of these is exsanguination, also known as massive blood loss. However, this type of death was reportedly not common, since the human body can survive for some time even after a large amount of blood is lost. In fact, some estimates claim the body can lose approximately 40% of its blood before the person dies. Infection can set in quickly. Though infection was not the most lethal aspect of flaying, it could occur when skin was removed and the body was exposed to viruses and bacteria. Infection could set into the bloodstream or vital organs and even cause the body to go septic. Unsanitary knives used in flaying could also lead to infection during the actual flaying process. However, death from the flaying itself was more likely. I hope you enjoyed this medical exploration into the medieval time, please hit the subscribe button for more videos.